Hello, good morning, and welcome to White Details. We're back, it's been a long time coming. We have a Bentley Arnage T Mulliner spec here for the White Detail. We've got to cover the car restoration process, we've got to talk about the unit maintenance that's been happening over the three or four weeks. Glad to be back, stay tuned for more. Mention the floor. You can see it in the background. Brightness. Let's talk about the floor and the unit. So, 8th of January, shop was shut. The, obviously, the floor tiles that were down, long story short, have been replaced by an epoxy resin floor. Floor tiles had failed, really. There was issues in the build, which meant that we had to do some essential maintenance. In a post on Instagram, I said about essential maintenance and upgrades. I'll speak about the upgrades in a second. Without giving the full details, two and a half weeks soon led with the tire removal, the dehumidifying the, the units to remove any damp from the floor for the prep, for the application, for the coating, the resin. Soon turned into four and a half, five weeks, um, which is why there's been little updates. All of which was sort of out of my control really, um, but it had to be done. There's a few mishaps on the way, hence the delay. But we're here, we're back. All the plumbing's back in, all the cupboards came out, the skirts and boards came off, a big operation. And unfortunately, because of the hiccups, there was a slight knock on effect to the diary, but to the, the two chaps who I had to postpone and reshuffle, I am very grateful for your flexibility, cooperation, and uh, look forward to getting your cars sorted in the coming weeks. The diary currently today is 24th of Feb. Diary is through till late March, so we've got plenty now stuck into the diary, plenty to look forward to. Behind us, the Bentley Arnage. So Arnage Turbo, I don't have the colour. Uh, Mulliner spec, it's here for the white detail. Full wash decontamination complete. We've had to use the long um, length of wood again. The jacking points are too far wide from the scissor lift, so we had to do that first of all on the Brooklands, which you can see on screen now. Should have really swept up, I suppose, before we show the camera. There you go. It's a workshop. So we've gone for a nice uh, silvery grey semi gloss. I'd imagine it's going to weather over time, it's going to get marked. There's marks from when the cabinets have been put back in, but as with anything gloss, any contact, it's bad contact. At the end of the day, it's a floor. It's extremely easy to mop, extremely easy to squeegee the water off the surface once the wash has been completed. Very pleased to be back in action. And it looks very, oh, crank. And it looks very smart, just fall over there. So that's the unit essential maintenance aspect, the new floor. It's also had cosmetically a little paint in places, some cork work done, some old banners removed and tidied up. 
And then the upgrade side of things is the single side bay where the kitchen is. You're familiar with this. Need some artwork on the wall now. We now have we now have spotlights. The single bay is a convenient space for storage, extra storage, or for a car to sit to one side before or after a detail is complete. But also this place was to be used for collection. Now without the spotlights in the ceiling, obviously they add the sheer brilliance and they were only in the middle bay. So I've had spotlights put up. So you should see the side more often now in the coming videos. So now with the multi-match, uh, sun match. Oh, that's on the warm setting. Let's just change that to cool. There we go. Uh, this is gonna take forever to show this. Start on the near side front, bad scratch. This vehicle we're seeing more and more as we discover. There's a lot going on, there's lots of room for improvement, which is great. But at the same time, it's had some paintwork, which doesn't look the best. There's a few blotches and patches of corrosion in places. Oh, some body shop goings on here. There's a almost a rivet there, a dimple. This is the first time we put the light to the car. Lots of, uh, quite a few deeper scores on the sill. Marks around the handle. Keys, etc. Chip there. Going to source a touch of pen for this. There's a few blemishes and chips, missing paint and areas. We got a burnt through edge here. This is the filler cap, just where my finger is. You can probably make out there. It's very, very thin there. It's gonna be an area for Terry. Terry and I are very, very cautious of. There's a few chips and touch ups needed here also. But very thin paint on the end. Wouldn't be surprised if we find a few more. Chunk out the door here. Using the spotlights in the ceiling, you can see on this near side corner of the roof, heavy in that corner, there's rust oxidation on the top row. Comes here as well. These are areas to be very careful with. We obviously want to tape to protect the rubber. Do we want to tape over the corrosion to pull the tape off? No, I certainly don't. Leading edge on the near side of wing here, looks a bit crabby. Again, more cautious areas to be cautious of with the tape again. Oh dear, seeing this Terry. <coughs> Blimey. Touch up, touch up already in bad scratches. a layer of that look. Oh look. The other Bentley had stuff like that, didn't it? Mm. On that, on the panel here. Oh yeah, it's been burnt through there, isn't it? Looks like it. What was that uh, there as well? Mm. Under the light. Yeah, there. Yeah, it has. Bumpers in quite a mess, actually, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Bad scratch up on this ledge. That ain't gonna go, unfortunately. That's gonna have to be reduced and touched up. You can hear that one. Good example of the entire vehicle condition is on the light lens there. It's more visible to see the surface damage. Look how heavy that is on that boot lid. Compared to this panel, this, and then we look here. Filler marks, rubbing marks in the paint. These look so naff, these exhaust pipes here. This is a Bentley you're talking oh, about. Mess. Look at this, how it's all corroded and yeah, can't do a lot with that. Is there any bolts underneath? No, this is... It's all one piece. Yeah. Can't take it off. It's all of, this whole piece yeah, is one. But how are you going to get to do that? Rug marks in the offside corner. Yeah, down there. Look. Deep scratch in the offside corner of the bumper. On that corner. Yeah, there the one. Yeah. Another Usual burn sort of through place, on the side. It? Starting to work down the offside. Nice big flat panel at least, although this ledge, a bit of one inch work required here and around the handle. General defects and swirls, some scabby bits here, the driver's door, chunk of paint missing down there. Another one of the bad scratches here, driver's door. At least there's no gloss black beeper, these are quite quality. Oh, buffer trail. That's the first bit of buffer trail I've found. Just on that mm. lip. 
Mm-hmm. Where do you want to start, Terry? Oh, I don't know. I, thought, uh, I think we're going to have to flip a coin for it, aren't we? Hmm? We're going to have to flip a coin for it. Okay. Oh, nice bit of overspray here in the bumper. This is obviously where the registration plate sits. Lack of not taking it off. Lack of overspray on the top of it. Didn't take it off. You, I just don't believe this. I don't believe it. Remove it. it. That's dirt from that corner there as well. Look at all this has gone here. Look. Oh, that's really look how dry that is. Yeah, I can see it there now. Yeah. Mm. Oh gosh. All right. Remember that when we get down to it. But that's all shined. How do you feel about some more weeks off, Terry? Uh, yeah, should we start now? It's not exactly small either. Right, what are you saying? Tails, oh, on, yeah. tails you roof. Tails I get the roof, heads I get the bonnet. Heads I get the bonnet. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to the roof? This is mostly flat. Oh, there's a lot of it. That's what she said. So just lower the vehicle down so we can actually reach the roof of the bonnet. Check this out. What you foul, mister? Just a load. Oh, of, look at that, yeah. A load of scratches it around. Be nice skating, There's really. one scratch that runs across the body. Yeah. And then maybe they've been putting briefcases up on the roof. Okay. Trip to Heathrow, madam. Put my handbag on the roof, my briefcase. That's gonna take some bloody work. company as well been supplying some new blue E365 edgeless E360s which we use for the puffing, puffing, buffing stage, the residue. And uh, so white ones, we're going to use these as independent IPA towels. Oh, that's purple. Alcohol, that one. And then lots of new Spectrum towels. Spectrum, Eagle, I think these are a form of E365 but they have an edge. The Ragco. Australia. G'day Jim, it's Bruce. They stumbled across the channel via, again, the Blue Brooklyn's video. The car hasn't been shipped from Australia, that's actually already in the country. The owner has yet to see the car, it's new to them, they've only had it for, I think, two weeks. Um, they bought it in England without seeing the car, and it's been with the company for some mechanical engineering pieces, and it's now here. And it's part of the Bentley 100th anniversary rally, I believe, which is in March, uh, in the next couple of weeks. So it's having the work done now. Goes off for the rally, enjoys that. And then whether it actually is going to live in the UK, it's a second home, I don't know, or head back to Australia. But the car, I don't know who's looked over. I don't know if it was just the dealership talking the owner of the vehicle through the condition. Uh, but actually there's quite a lot going on. This under March, the drips, there's a couple of missed colour, the wing looking over the bonnet doesn't quite match the colour tone. Um, Sander marks in the paint or as opposed to the lacquer. You've seen the inspection footage now, there's a few bits that could potentially be better. It is always worth at this point, obviously the owner is never going to be able to see the car themselves because they're in Australia. Perhaps it's an option to send someone like myself, a detailer, 
uh, in to check it out, just to pay to commission them to go to say, well, travel uh, and go and assess this vehicle for me on my behalf. I did this actually in the last uh, couple of weeks. There was a 1980s yellow MG Metro. It was a beast. It was a blast of the past, blast, blast from the past. Uh, my granddad had one and uh, the smell, the sound of the gears and driving, I did a test drive of the vehicle. Uh, but it's certainly worth spending money to know you're getting the right car. The Metro, actually I took 101 photos of the bad bits and then three or four videos including a 10 minute test drive, which I've already enjoyed. Beep, beep. So yeah, if you have a vehicle, be it a £5,000 Metro or a £45,000 on Arch, I know it's a lot of car for the money, 30000 40000 maybe more, it's a more on the spec, um, then it's worth sometimes having that professional look over the vehicle, so consider it an option if anyone out there in the near future is looking to purchase said vehicle, then happy to help. After many, 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 many passes on the roof, the remaining marks, uh, I can't find it now, just put a fingerprint there. It's just about rounded off, I'm happy with that. That isn't gonna go any more than that, it's not gonna be visible. There was a deep one, there was one deep one, there was another one here somewhere, and I've chased a bad one just above the fingerprint. 
the, see the rounded off edge? Let's build that. Please just now up the rest of the sunroof and the surrounding pillar work here. Meanwhile, back end terrace in the boot. A nice big flat panel, but very dry, very blotchy and crappy finish. A lot of room for improvement there. Cup of tea. Sounds like a good idea, sir. Is that red light flashing? On what? Oh, yes. No, oh, I'm going to be filming all that. Where's me brodler? You pinch my brodler. Who's pinched me brodler? Offside front wing now, and there are, we saw this earlier, there are a few bits where we're gonna have to just work around. I need to actually touch that up and work over the touch up with the polisher. Um, just marked off a few areas on the inch edge, running across there, obviously you can't get the three inch pad on there. You could, but you'd be silly to do so. One inch down in this channel. This can be done with a three. That, maybe the three some overhang there with a the pad, where the pad won't sit on the panel. And then we're gonna start working around the top portions. But the vents here on the side, obviously got in and around the area to polish the bottom of the door. But the vent itself needs to be done by hand. And now there's a good bit of corrosion or sort of tarnishing from the bright work in there. So hopefully just by hand, we'll have to tarnish this up, clean this up. Good scratch in there, a vertical scratch going down. As I always say in old videos, in other videos, that once the swirls and the haze here is removed, you're going to be left with that one scratch that runs there that's going to be more visible. That's what we'll end up chasing once this, which is easy to lift, is removed.
6 p.m. Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to get another hour in tonight, I think at least. Uh, I want to get a little bit ahead uh, for the week. Saturday is my birthday. Uh, so I'm going to be working, but I'd rather not be working all day, all night. So the more we get done now, this is incredibly smooth. The better. Progress is steady, to be honest. All the roof section is done. There's a lot of roof on this. Uh, so you've got the A pillars that run over, which is as normal. You've got the full roof. But then a lot of cars don't have all this rear section. The glass normally comes to sort of up here on a coupe or a saloon, or if it's a touring, you've got a spoiler, a boot spoiler. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot of additional doings there across the top. Still got to do that side underneath the tape. Terry's been on the rear deck. That's all looking fresh now. Very nice. So I have that to finish. Mustn't forget that. In fact, let's put some marks down there. That's when he's cutting. But yeah, a lot of paintwork. Now that's not to mention the side and uh, the bumpers and the intricacies around the headlight. Just about finished the offside front wing. Breaking down which pad where, this middle section and here is the only area that a three inch pad has been used. I've used a two inch pad in here. The three, the three is not quite, it's a bit too big. You've got a lot of pressure on this top ledge there to get a full correction on that. The two inch just sits in there snug, runs across there. Two inch also on the top deck, down. Bit of one inch work around here. There is a scratch, I'm not chasing this. Scratch here in the bottom of that crevice. I dare to push that. You can't get the one inch to it without going high. To go high, you've got to go on this edge. What else? Two inch, two inch, obviously one inch, one inch, and one inch. You have to be careful with this ledge. You can see on the door next to the wing, they are quite cut up. But that ledge, this bottom, is quite susceptible uh, to burn through, I'd imagine. So for the rest of this, and if there's any deeper marks and deeper stretches there, I might be tempted just to run some tape a millimeter over that edge, just to protect that on the rest of the car. Work in progress, let's have a look. Terry's work. Bit cut up there, needs panel wipe. I think that's just some residues left in the panel. If we go tight up above this swage line, should be nice, true, tight correction. Absolutely. Mark there. Just identify that. It's not yet finished this panel, but we check over each other's work before we finish and move on. But what I forgot to say, touching back on the Metro, the little yellow Metro that I did some uh, an assessment work on. I was actually invited uh, to view a private car collection out in Germany. Um, flew out to Germany to assess and take a look over multiple cars which unfortunately had to remain secret. I wasn't able to record or photograph or blog uh, that information but uh, hopefully, touch wood, if things work out, back in the year come winter once the owners had the summer to enjoy the cars, a lot of them had just had some restoration work, then we might see them um, here in the studio on the ramp for the white detail. Progressing world on the offside, uh, it is 20 to 12, Wednesday. Driver's door complete, now needs refining. I want to just show a difference between a marring scratch and a remaining scratch. So well, this door has been cut and it's been panel wiped. I'm trying to find just above my finger. There, you see that? A little scratch. People might be tempted to go back at that, have another go at that one and that one. That's actually being juiced either with my IPA panel wipe or my buffing technique. That's sharp, it's fresh, it's quite clean cut. It's hard to maybe pick out on camera. But I know the compound I've done on this panel, that wouldn't still be there. That's a light, fine, sharp scratch on the near door. On the rear door, however, above the smudge we look, and that is a remaining deep scratch. It's 
more of a gully, more of a rounded off. You can see the edges aren't as sharp. It's not as vibrant. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense, but at least I know what I mean. Do you know what I mean, Terry? Talking nonsense. Talking nonsense, yeah, I thought so. Just about to move on to the offside rear wing, sign off the door. However, see if you can spot the deliberate mistake. Here, I've not yet been into that very bottom corner of the hybrid, so you can see the three inches got so far, but the bottom of that swage line, as per, as per there, the hybrid just takes over to pull out that last little bit of clarity. From the smallest of areas. And then we can start the wing. Something to watch for on the rear bumper, there is a blend mark that runs. You see that? Quite why someone's decided it was a good thing to just, look at that. To just paint this, not that. Maybe it's something to do with the color blending, making sure that the difference between that, that and that is better than the hot. Who knows, but lazy. Speaking of which, likewise, there's a blend that runs from the bottom of the door above this swage line, more noticeable. More noticeable here on the rear wing. So that's a blend mark where they've painted up to. Swirls on the floor. A little tip with light clusters and the moldings here, the prints. You see all the polish and the build up? If when you're finishing polishing, the trick to do is when you finish polishing, you might be left with, you might be left with quite a build up around the moldings, but if you just finish it off by hand, on a spare microfiber, bit of the same compound and we work in and around the letters, buff it off. Using more polish on a microfiber itself allows that to be cleaned up. Telephone. one there was a there was a terrible scratch running right through the middle I can't even locate it now it was roughly here it was vertical two inch scratch three inch scratch showing white but a bit of paper 2500 has been able to very much reduce that down or remove it I will say uh, so I'm pleased with that that was a real obvious bad one of the worst scratches on the ground are you doing it after lunch or are you doing it? Uh, I'll just do this little bit. Get out of here. Yeah. 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 Paint correction on the R&R complete. The last bit you saw Tape here, tape there, that's a real concave section. Difficult to get how to get into that bottom channel. Rather, rather than struggling to get it in and up and down, it's, it's a case of mask that off and work long ways at the bottom, then do a second set from the top down. Bottom up, top down, the combination of the two parts coming together, you'll pretty much get into that channel. And we're ready for some dinner. Lunch time. Oh, it's trying. 
one is useless. Engine bay complete. A lot better than the icing on the cake. Yeah. So that's the wheels coated carbon collective platinum wheels after a machine polish to enhance the spoke faces. They were slightly tarnished and dull. Looking glossy and slick, now fully protected inside out. Go out of the way a ton. And then the engine bay has been further cleansed from Monday morning's wet work cleanse. Uh, the majority of it obviously is under the covering, but we know it's done. It's fine, it's good. And first impressions is now Pazau. A lot of overspray in the adjacent panels now. This is why we do this before the refining. Dust the whole car down, IPA the whole car, sweep up all the floor, panel wipe the car, start refining first thing tomorrow. Today is Thursday, half past four. amongst you well I've spotted that we are using a new uh, a new blower vehicle blower this is the big boy blow R pro available exclusively available through ultimate finish I'll come back to that in the next video when I know more about it so far I'm very impressed it a comes with wheels and a dolly to begin with we had to bastardize our last unit to have that this is standard, it's got a massive hose, We're in, uh, and four interchangeable speed settings. It's pretty quiet compared to the last one we've got. that pin shouldn't be all the way out there. Sorted.
Hey, dear. If anyone knows of a better way to clean these grills, do let me know in the comments below. They are a pain in the backside. Obviously a worthwhile thing to uh, spend time doing. And that's one of the things about, I think, uh, detailing. You've got to have patience. and looking a lot better. Fast forward about three and a half hours. Bentley has been moved through to next door. There's a single bay unit there. It's been picked up on Tuesday. Behind me, uh, I've had to get the head start on next week's jobs, uh, allocations. It's a Cayman, a little 718 Cayman. Not sure on the color, what it's called. Not sure what the color is called. It's very unique, uh, but I like it. I do like it a lot. Cayman, it's in for the full new car prep package. The vehicle was delivered with 17 miles on the clock, covered in the film and the protection, which is nice to see. So Porsche Sheffield, thank you very much. So I'm sure you'll agree the transformation on the Bentley, well, you're about to see the after footage, it's huge. Not only a huge car, but the transformation uh, is vast. It really looks business now, back to where it should be, where it wants to be, where it ought to be flying the Bentley flag. The full major paint correction detail included in the white detail, which is where we chase paintwork perfection, where it's safe to do so. There are a few scabs and scars and bad bits in the paint. There's a couple of blisters and the corrosion. Obviously you can't do anything about that. Full interior treatments, leather and fabric. Some under carriage work, the engine bay, wheels coming off the vehicle to be treated inside and out. Full upgraded ceramic paint protection options for all surfaces, including Kamikaze collection, zip hand coat for the paint. It's wet outside, it's raining, hence why I probably look a bit washed through. So no outside, no after footage outside, unfortunately, it's just internal shots. One thing I've noticed with the new floor, the Bentley has been the first car to come with the new flooring system down. The reflection of the light in the floor, in the paintwork, you can see the swirls and the scratches in the floor reflecting on the paint. So you have to, it's a bit of trickery to your eye. You think, well, there's covered in scratches, actually. That's the floor uh, surface beneath, which is all scratched, unfortunately. But there we are, stunning vehicle. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support. Thank you, Terry, for your efforts this week. If you're not already, be sure to hit subscribe, like the video if you've enjoyed, share the video amongst friends, colleagues, and family if it's something they might be, might be, might be interested in. And we'll see you again very soon. Enjoy.
my Christ! I'm not taking it, I'm making it weird. Jesus. Good job it's a nice day today, isn't it? Yes.